Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to... Today we're being topical again with a combo video on a card from the upcoming set Throne of Eldraine. It is Sir Conrad the Grim. For 3 and 2 black you get a 5-4 with a block of text that sounds like a rambling old man. Whenever another creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, or a creature card leaves your graveyard, Sir Conrad the Grim deals 1 damage to each opponent. And you can pay 1 in a black and each player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. So before we begin, remember to like, sub, and comment. Okay, let me preface these combos and synergies before you guys pull out your pitchforks. For the first part of Conrad's ability, we basically have many cards that do this already. Blood Artist, Falconrath Noble, Poison Tip Archer, etc. So like them, Conrad is kind of just the kill piece in a lot of combos that already exist. So I don't want to see any of you guys in the comments like, hey dumbass, this already exists with Blood Artist. Okay? I get it. I don't need that shit right now. I'm making a fucking video for you. Okay? I don't want to fuck. So Conrad loves creatures dying, creatures being milled or discarded, and your creatures leaving the graveyard in any way. I have a lot of combos to go through, so let's go through this rapid fire. Like every good combo breakdown, let's start with an undying combo. All you need is Phyrexian Altar, an undying creature, and Retribution of the Ancients. Sack your undying creature to the altar for a black mana. Because a creature died, Conrad pings your opponents for one. Now that undying creature comes back into play with a plus one plus one counter, and Conrad pings your opponents again for one damage because that undying creature left your graveyard. With that black mana, activate Retribution of the Ancients and remove the plus one plus one counter from your undying creature and give another creature neg one neg one until end of turn. Now you can sack your undying creature again to make a black mana and ping your opponents to death. Rinse and repeat. Here's a similar combo with Phyrexian Altar and Gravecrawler. If you have another zombie on the battlefield, you can sack Gravecrawler to make a black mana. Conrad pings, and then you can cast Gravecrawler from your bin with that black mana, pinging again. Loop this to kill your opponents. Su Chi is an expensive old artifact creature card that gives you 4 mana when it dies. Nim Death Mantle is an equipment that gives equipped creature plus 2 plus 2 and makes it a black zombie. Also, when a creature you control dies, you can pay 4 mana and return it to the battlefield and attach Nim Death Mantle to it. See where this is going? Add a sack effect and we're off to the races. Sack Su Chi getting 4 mana, pinging with Conrad, use that 4 mana to pay for the death mantle cost. Su Chi leaves a graveyard and returns to the battlefield and Conrad pings, rinse and repeat for death. But let's walk away from EDH for a second and talk about a modern combo. Heartless Summoning makes all your creature cards cost 2 less, but gives them neg 1 neg 1. Mirror Retriever is a 1 1 for 2 that returns another artifact to your hand from your graveyard when it dies. If you have Conrad and the Summoning's out, you can play a Mur for free, it dies, and you ping. Play your second Mur for free, it dies. Ping. Return your first Mur to your hand. Ping. Play it. It dies. Loop this to win. Potentially on turn 3 with the big nut draw. They can't do that with Blood Artist. So eat shit, you stupid vampire. Okay, here's an actual jank combo. Conspiracy makes you choose a creature type and turns all creature cards you control and all creature cards you own that aren't in play into that type. Let's choose Spirits. When a Name Death Aspect enters the battlefield, you can search your library for any amount of Spirits and put them into your graveyard. So pull all your creatures out of your deck and Conrad deals damage to each opponent for every creature you put in the bin this way. If you're running blue, you can swap out Conspiracy for Arcane Adaptation. Speaking of blue, let's talk about Mill and Minecrank. Whenever an opponent loses life, they mill that many cards. So if you pay Conrad's second ability to make everyone mill one, and at least one person hits a creature, Minecrank makes them all mill again. If someone hits a creature again, then all your opponents mill again. May RNG Jesus be on your side. You want a rich boy combo? How about Mesmeric Orb and Basalt Monolith? The orb says whenever a permanent untaps, that permanent's controller mills one card. Basalt Monolith can tap for 3 mana, 
and then you can pay 3 mana to untap the monolith. So tap the monolith for 3 mana, then untap it with those 3 mana, and mill a card because of the orb. Repeat until you kill all your opponents. If you're not running enough creatures to kill your opponents, well, just use one of the OG Eldrazi Titans. When it hits your graveyard, you can shuffle it and the rest of your graveyard back into your library. And this pings your opponents for each creature that leaves your graveyard, because it got shuffled back into your library. And it allows you to keep milling yourself without losing. Don't have an Eldrazi Titan? It's fine. Use Planar Void. Whenever a card is put into a graveyard from anywhere, you exile that card. So every creature you mill, then gets exiled and pings for another point of damage. The trick here is that Planar Void isn't a replacement effect like Leyline of the Void. So every creature card you mill actually hits your graveyard and then gets exiled. Or you can just use another Eldrazi. When Inverter of Truth enters the battlefield, you exile your now empty library and turn your graveyard into your library. Remember, if a creature card was in your graveyard and it leaves your graveyard, no matter how, that's still one point of damage to all your opponents. Morality Shift really stacks up the damage with Conrad. You exchange your graveyard and your library. So Conrad actually deals damage to each opponent for every creature card that was in your library and your graveyard. But here is the big jank combo of the day. Unfortunately, you need blue. So Conrad can't be your commander if you want to do this combo. But you can still run him in the 99 of a blue black deck. So you need Mirror Mad Phantasm, a 5-1 flying spirit that says pay 1 in a blue to shuffle Mirror Mad Phantasm into your library, then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal Mirror Mad Phantasm, put it on the battlefield, and then put all cards revealed this way into your graveyard. So if we play a clone effect like clone, and we copy our Phantasm, and then activate our clone's Phantasm ability, We'll shuffle it into our library and reveal cards until we hit Mirror Mad Phantasm. But wait, we'll mill ourselves because the only one we have in our EDH deck is on the battlefield. So we'll ping all our opponents for all the creatures left in our library. If that's not good enough, there are so many other options to take creatures out of your graveyard. Like Ghastly Conscriptions or Rise of the Dark Realms. Or, if you're really lazy, you can just slap some Infect onto Conrad and wait for him to ping opponents 10 times. That's a game over. And that's all I have for Sir Conrad. I'm sure there are thousands of ways to win with this guy. Like I said, he doesn't really facilitate combos. He is just a kill card in a ton of pre-existing combos. But, at least he can be your commander. So, are you gonna build with this knight? Are any of these combos new to you? Or am I just beating a dead horse here? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, when you need a fix for your next combo, I'll be right back here on the internet.